It's the Joel Shit Show featuring Joel Shit. Oh look, a whole line of cars. Okay, only three. Three technically is a line, but it's not much of one. Calling a three cars a line is like calling three guys a gangbang. Not really. Hi, welcome to the Joel Shit Show. I'm your host, Joel Shit. Walking to the train station. I've already warmed up the pipes. The neighbor's dog was outside, which is unusual. So I had a little talk with her. I love to do that. I didn't know her owner was inside, but the door open, able to hear me. But I didn't really say anything embarrassing anyway. I told her that cats are better than dogs and she should really pee on her grass more often. And then her owner says, yes, she should pee more often. And I said something like, I know, which is stupid because I don't know. I have no idea what the urination habits of my neighbor's dog is. But uh, as I get older in life, I learn not to get nervous about these things, not to worry about these things. But not just because it's a renter. This isn't my only experience with my neighbor, of course. My neighbor has a pretty good idea who I am. I, mean, I don't think she watches the show, but she knows that when I'm not sitting or lying down, I'm a stand-up guy. And, you know, if I act like a nut job in front of her dog because I think no one's around, that's just what people do. And even if she doesn't think that, I don't really care. And I think that is one of the major things you learn getting older, that you can walk down the street with the video camera talking into it, and you don't care if anyone sees you. Sure, you might stop talking as you get closer to them, or pretend you're not holding a video camera, but you're not going to freak out and hide behind a tree anymore. That is what growing up is. They don't teach you that shit in school. So yesterday I watched the Sharks game. They were playing the Chicago Blackhawks. And before you could get in your seat it was 2 nothing. Then it was 3 nothing. Chicago. Oh dear. But it was Cristobal UA in net. And when your name should rhyme with net but doesn't, as is the case with the way, then instead his name is the way because he gives the lead away, and he did. It was then 3-3 three to three in the third, and then I fell asleep. Night game. So, when I get into the office, maybe I'll find out how the Sharks did. But it was nice of the Sharks to come back. Knowing them, they probably lost 4-3 in a shootout. That's what the Sharks do. But, uh, see, there's the dog. I told you. I always walk on the dog. Do you realize that Americans would never wake up before 7 a.m. if they didn't have dogs? I'd be the only one. There'd be no traffic. There'd be no poop on the ground. I could go on, but I've done my dog bit for the show already. So anyway, Pavelski had a couple of goals. His eighth two-goal game of his career, I believe. And then, still never has had a hat trick unless he got one last night. And Douglas Murray blocked a puck, and it really hurt. And they had to, he could barely get off the ice, and he couldn't because they hadn't cleared the zone, and then finally they cleared the zone, and he got off. And they go to commercial, and they show him being led to the locker room. So I sent a text message to a friend of mine that I know is at the game, and I say, hey, Douglas Murray could barely walk as he was led to the locker room. And then my friend texts me back and says, he's on the ice. And of course it's a commercial, so I can't see that. And I go, oh, hmm. So they go back to commercial, and there's Douglas Murray. Oh, okay. I blocked him with the puck, and it caused me to play like shit for the rest of the game, and then I missed the next week. Douglas Murray gets hit with the puck, and he gets back before the commercial's over. That is a hockey player. Unlike some other hockey players I know, who get hit with the puck and then watch his team lose a 4-2 lead. 
and then this is the first playoff game of the year, which the team won. I don't know. He's always getting his neighbor's newspaper. What a good neighbor. Look at that. Did you notice? He didn't even walk on the grass. I bet he's got like an 80-year-old neighbor. And one of the things he does in the morning is he gets up and he goes to his neighbor's house while his car's warming up and he picks up the newspaper because the paper boy's too lazy to send it to the door. And he picks it up and he sends it to the door because when the 80-year-old was younger, when he woke up, the newspaper was at his doorstep. Just like it is for me, because I tip my newspaper boy. See, that's the one reason you want a house, so you can be a nice neighbor, like State Farm. Oh well, I don't remember what I was talking about. It wasn't very important anyway, obviously. These walking to the train station shows. Well, one day we'll look back on these and laugh. We'll say, boy, those shows just weren't very good, were they? And I'll say, no, not really. But you got to listen to what it sounds like when I'm walking great cardiovascular health I may have, but man, I just can't stop breathing. It's like that dance song, a disco song. Can't stop breathing. That's what it is. That's all the time we have for today. Visit us on the web at joelshitshow.com. Email joel at joelshitshow.com.